we're going to clock this unit and I'm going to show you how we test it. So you can see we've got a graduated container, pints, quarts, three pints. So depending on how fast this little 10 ton unit is, will depend on how long I let this thing go. But Pierce has a stopwatch on it right now. So we're timing, all right, so we're timing how long does it take to collect X amount of condensate? You can do this for your Quest, your Andin, your Carrier, your Ream, your Day and Night, your Payne, your Rood, your Fraser Johnson, your Gaffers and Sattler, your York, your... We've almost got our first pint. How long was that? One minute. So you do the math and get back with us three quarts now and where I asked Pierce to hit time stamps for me was at one pint, one quart, two quarts and we're waiting on four quarts now and then we're gonna tell you what the performance of just this one random York 1010 AC we'll be able to tell you what its 24 hour day value potential is like, like your dehumidifier. So when you look at your dehumidifier calcs, they also are using the industry standard calculation of 80 and 60, which there's a lot of humidity and it's, it's wet, it's warm, right? You can pull a lot of water out of 80, 60. But, you know, sometimes we have rooms that are 70, 50, 60, 40, so. Okay, here comes full one gallon. We're gonna do the math. Baby's got the calculator. Pierce has the data. And we have got four quarts. Eight pints. Let's go do the math. And of course, because we're collecting data to do this scientifically we uh, are on another collection so this is collection number two all right we just clocked this york unit it's a uh, 10 ton two compressor so it's two five ton systems and it's doing just under 1,000 pints per day a gallon 12 minutes it does a pint approximately every one and a half minutes so give your air conditioners a lot more credit because when you put a dehumidifier on top of this unit all you're doing is taking away that you're taking away that power that it already has. So, go do that. <laughs>